Well, this has really been a tough fight. Uh, we spend every waking moment trying to understand what the Algerian voters want and how they will be making the decision, what will be the important driver of their considerations. And during the campaign, we began to fully appreciate the extent of their unhappiness and resentment towards the government. Hence, the pledge by the PEP team led by Minister George Hill uh, for us to have a strong role in the transformation of the PEP itself. All said, we respect the decision of the Algerian voters uh, in terms of their desire to have a strong opposition voice in Parliament uh, and they have found this voice in the Workers' Party. I am disappointed at the outcome, of course, because of the many years that I've served, uh, almost 15 years that I've served, uh, in particular the Serangoon residents. And in fact, many residents have become friends as well in the course of the 15 years. But nonetheless, I thank the residents for the privilege of having served them and worked with them on many different initiatives, uh, such as improvements like live upgrading, uh, children's parks, fitness uh, equipment for the senior citizens and so on. As well as some of the fun things like uh, organising the Serangoon Swing uh, countdown parties. Serangoon Gardens especially would always have a special place in my heart because of its coziness and village-like atmosphere. It's, it's also a very uh, nice little sort of culture there. Uh, which most of the residents are very proud of and which I am very happy to be a part of as well. Now, now I'll just touch on briefly about my experience as an MP as well as, as a minister. I would say that my experience as a politician has two distinctive uh, features. The first is that I had the opportunity to bring private sector experience to bear on public sector decisions. Uh, and this can be. This was done across a whole range of matters. So whether it's tax, whether it's the global competitiveness of our airport and seaport, or whether it's in the running of businesses um, amongst the SMEs. Uh, so I, I found that experience uh, very fulfilling, and the ability to bring that perspective into policy formulation, or even just. Um, the derivation of measures to help companies, uh, one which is uh, fruitful and constructive, the one where it enables good ideas uh, on the policy side to be translated into concrete measures that can be implemented. And this will continue to be helpful, if not crucial, to the efficacy of public policy making, uh, because I strongly believe that Policies should not just look good on paper, but they must always be implementable and they must always serve the purpose for which they are intended to. The second feature is the privilege of uh, being the first female full cabinet minister. Uh, some have of course noted that unfortunately with my election loss, the score is now brought back to zero again. Uh, I'm optimistic however, that with more women coming into parliament, that uh, it won't be too long before another f female full cabinet minister is appointed. Uh, all I would say is that it could have been 20 of us from the PAP, but it's now down to 18. I would nonetheless continue to encourage more women to step forward and be counted, um, if nothing else, for the sake of the children's and their own or grandchildren's future. Well, as I've said, I've uh, served almost 15 years, which I would regard as a reasonable stretch. Um, I would be 57 by the next general election, and like Minister George Hill, believe that a younger person uh, would be better to lead the constituency. Therefore, I have no plans to contest in the next GE in 2016. I will however remain as advisor to the Serangoon grassroots organisations for as long as it's helpful. I will spend the next few months uh, taking a break and 
to slowly decide on what I would like to do. Uh, I think there's no shortage of uh, possibilities, but I, I would like to um, just have a break first. Uh, some of these would, of course, include a return to the financial or corporate sector where I came from. Um, all said, I would, however, maintain an interest, uh, especially in the women's work-life balance issues, because I, I think these are specific challenges that women uh, face and will continue to face, even as Singapore evolves and transforms itself. Okay. I'll just stop here and perhaps take questions. Uh,